As I recall, it was already about 10.04 a.m. I mean, we, it was time for us to begin. And we had delayed starting our worship service by a few minutes in order to give our visitors a chance to join us. Most Sundays we might have one or two visitors and it's, it's totally great. But this particular Sunday was amazing. We had a ton of new families logging on to our worship service on Zoom. And so we wanted to get it right. And the whole time I'm just praying like, don't let me get disconnected. Don't let me get disconnected. And while we're waiting to begin, we have this music playing in the background. It's kind of like these cool jazz hymns. And we just play that for a, a couple of minutes or so while we're waiting for everyone to arrive. And it sounds great. It works as long as everyone is muted. But if even one family isn't muted, then what we all hear is not the jazz hymns, but we actually hear them. Well, this particular morning, a family joined us and they were not muted and they didn't know it. And this was the Sunday that they chose to work on their conflict resolution skills. As I recall, the mom said, excuse me, uh, you're in my chair. Would you please mind moving over just a little bit so that mom can sit down? Shut up, ma, they can totally hear you. Hey, don't talk to your mother like that. Excuse me, can we just talk about how we speak to mom in this family? They can totally hear you. You see that green light? Uh, no, excuse me. The green light means that you are muted and you can go ahead and talk. The red light means that you should be quiet because the red light means that they can hear you. Your mother's right. Listen to your mother. They can totally hear you. Uh, no, excuse me. We're going to talk about that. Didn't I ask you to brush your hair earlier? And didn't I ask you to change your shirt? Oh my goodness. Shut up, ma. Uh, excuse me. And so we should have been able to begin the worship service with like, Christ the Lord is risen today. We began the service with, shut up, ma. And you know, that probably went on for longer than it should have. By the way, we're live and not pre-recorded. Oh, also, it's Easter Sunday. And I remember that I was scrambling to... to find the mute button so that I could spare this family a shred of dignity. And I had this moment of clarity where I was just like, I guess that this is just what church looks like in 2020. This is just pandemic church. As the service went on, there were a few other glitches. Uh, nothing, nothing dramatic. Nothing like we got disconnected. But cumulatively, it just made me continue to just reconsider my life choice. I felt bad for our poor musicians because yeah, they put a ton of time into these songs and when we went to play, because of the difference in internet speeds between the host computer and everybody on the receiving end, there is this lag, right? There's, a, oh, there's, there's this lag and so because of that lag, we could all see each other singing. We could see that we were all singing the same words, but we're singing them at very, very different times. That was awesome. Then when it came time for the scripture reading before the sermon, I'm pretty sure that our scripture reader's internet kicked him off. And so we lost half of the scripture reading. That was great. Also, I remember that the sermon slides that I had put so much time into, like I remember getting the textures just right, and I remember some, pulling down some really cool graphics off the internet. I remember using some really awesome fonts. So I put a ton of time into these sermon slides, and as I got going, I really realized that like nobody can see it because they're all watching on a screen like that big. That was awesome. And then I also recall that there was another family that had joined us at the very beginning of the service, but they got somehow kicked off. We got somehow disconnected, and they tried to rejoin later, during the sermon. So as I'm beginning to preach, I'm getting these text messages from these people and they're asking if I can send them the link to the Zoom again so that they can rejoin. Um, that was a lot of fun. And the whole time, you're just terrified because you're the host computer. You're just terrified like, Lord, don't let us get disconnected. Don't let us get disconnected. So I'm someone who likes his routines. I like for things to work. I like to be prepared. Uh, I don't love surprises on Sunday mornings. Now it seems like everything is outside of our control. Like everything is beyond our control. 
Now it seems like we are totally at the mercy of the Zoom gods. On a, a good Sunday, you hope that one or two things don't go badly. On most Sundays during the pandemic, you feel like you're juggling chainsaws, you know? You just do your best not to drop one. Most Sundays during the pandemic though, I have felt like I lose a couple of fingers. On Easter Sunday, 2020, I felt like I lost a couple arms and legs. And here we are, it's 2021. We're a couple of months away from Easter and there's no end to this thing in sight. And you wonder, is Easter 2021 gonna be any different? Is there any reason to expect it to be better? To this day, I don't know who the family was that joined us that, that morning. If that was you, I hope you'll come back and, and join us. Benediction's actually a really fun church and uh, we don't really take ourselves super seriously. Hey, come back, let's try it again. But if you, if you do decide to join us, can I just give you a quick little lesson in making sure that you're, you're, you're muted? Because um, we just, to, just so that we don't run into this again. Now, let me make sure I can do this without disconnecting us. But you want to make sure that you are on the right screen and that you're not in gallery view. And so let me just, it's kind of like over here.